Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example looks a lot like our previous example. We've been asked to factor a common factor. And in order to do that with something that looks like that, we're looking for the term with the smallest exponent. So first of all, between the numbers 28 and 4, of course, 4 will be the common factor between these two. But between these two portions, the common factor will be the one with the lowest exponent. 2 fifths is a smaller exponent than 7 fifths, so we're going to factor out that portion as well. So this can now be written as 4 times x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power. So 4 is a common factor between these two, and x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power is a common factor between these two. And then let's see what we have left. Over here, 4 times 7 is 28, so we have, well, not 28, but 7 left, so this becomes 7, minus, and here we have x squared minus 3 to some unknown exponent. And this is really the way you want to do it. You simply want to put a box there and go, now I'm going to determine what that exponent is. First of all, recognize that 7 times 4 gives me 28, times x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power, we get that back. But when I multiply these two together, I should get 4 times 1 is 4, and x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power times x squared minus 3 to some unknown power will give me 7 fifths back. So in other words, 2 fifths plus some unknown exponent will give me 7 fifths back. And so what goes in here so that this plus this gives me 7 fifths? And the answer, of course, is 5 fifths. 5 over 5 because 2 plus 5 is 7 and the common denominator of 5. So we want 5 fifths over here. Okay, now we can rewrite that a little bit simpler. So this becomes 4 times x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power times 7 minus the quantity x squared minus 3 to the first power. And of course, we don't have to write to the first power. We can simply remove that and collect common terms. So this can be written as 4 times x squared minus 3 to the 2 fifths power times... 7 minus times a minus becomes a plus 3. That would be um, 10 minus x squared. I'll write it in this order because that way the negative becomes second. And I'll have to put negative in front there. So this then, 7 minus a minus 3 becomes 10. And a minus x squared, we have that. And that will then be the final factored form of our original problem. And that is how it's done.